Hello, Ellie here from Thankful Flow Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for this creative all levels uh, yoga practice. So today we will be flowing through um, some creative transitions, um, but we will also have plenty of options for all levels um, throughout. And as always, just listening to your body, um, taking what you need from the practice, leaving anything that you don't need, and hopefully leaving, at you, e leaving you feeling at the end nice and stretched, strengthened, re-energized and grounded. So we're gonna come into a seated position to get started and bring the soles of the feet to the mat. And I want you to wrap the arms around the legs like a big ball giving yourself a big hug and as you exhale start to drop the forehead down towards the knees close your eyes here or soften your gaze and allow your gaze to really turn inwards now noticing the inner landscape Seeing whether you can observe the breath. Notice any parts of the body moving as you breathe. Checking in with how you're feeling today. And just knowing that there is no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. Simply being curious, being the observer. Leaving behind anything that came before this practice and any thoughts that could be coming through about what's next. Just being here right now, inhabiting your body as fully as you can with your awareness. We'll slowly start to lift the head, open the eyes back up if you had them closed, and releasing the arms from the hug, let the soles of the feet come together and let your knees drop out to the side. You could always have a couple of blocks under the thighs to support them. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, create space across the chest and exhale. Imagine like a hinge from the hips coming forwards. So keeping the spine long. This could be really subtle. If it feels good to, you can walk the hands forwards, but keep imagine leading with your chest bone. I'm trusting that where you are right now, in your practice, in your life, <laughs> is exactly where you are meant to be. And it might not always feel that way. We don't always understand the path that we sometimes seem to be on, but just trusting. Trusting that sometimes we have to live the question. We don't always have the answers Sometimes we'll never have the answers. We still have to live our life, follow our joy, and try and be present. Just imagine breathing into the hip space here. On your next inhale, walk the hands in, lifting back up. And we're gonna draw this right knee in, in, bring the sole of your right foot to the ground and lengthen your left leg, flex the left foot. Right hand comes out behind, inhale, reach the left fingertips up, exhale, twist, find your married chest in a C. Gaze coming over the right shoulder. Finding your breath here as you breathe in. Create space in the body and as you breathe out, imagine melting into that space. Exhale, 
as you start to unravel from your Mary Chestnut C, hook your right leg over the top of the left. So we're finding this version of Gomukhasana with the left leg lengthened. Either work here or if it's in your practice, you're going to bend the underneath leg as well. And we're working towards having the knees stacked. You can always sit on a couple of blocks here, can be a nice way to come into Gomukhasana. So use any props or blocks for support. Inhale, reach the crown of the head upwards as you exhale. Again, hinging from the hips. See if you can maybe find a little fold. Could be a really gentle fold forward or it could be coming down onto the forearms, perhaps. But flowing over forcing. Always flowing over forcing anything into the body. Letting the body communicate with you where it needs to go today in this practice. Inhale, start to lift the chest, come away from the fold. You can use your hands for support. We're going to unravel the legs, see if you can bring the soles of the feet back together so we're in bound angle position, Madhakanasana. Inhale, create space across the chest. Exhale, fold forwards again here. Taking a couple of breaths in the fold. Maybe noticing coming back into this position, whether it feels any different to when we came into it right at the beginning of the practice. Just to be curious, it might feel exactly the same and that's okay if it does. So seeing if you can observe and taking away any kind of judgments if you can. Taking any little movements here in the fold that feel good. And then on your inhale, lifting the chest. This time we're going to bring this left knee in, sole of the left foot to the mat, right leg reaches out in front. Left hand comes out behind to support, inhale, reach the right fingertips up. Exhale, twist to the left, find Mary Chastnessy. Gaze comes over the left shoulder or in that direction. Finding your connection to your breath as you breathe in. Imagine that space being created. And as you breathe out, gently moving into that space. So finding some flow with your breath. Seeing what your breathing wants you to know. One more breath here in your twist. Start to unravel and then hook the left leg over the top of the right. Knees working towards being stacked, using any blocks under the hips. Maybe that underneath leg bends as well for Gomukhasana. Inhale, reach the crown of the head upwards, make space, exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forwards. Could be working higher up or lower down. So really breathing into the hips, the lower back. Giving your body time to release tension, time to settle into our nervous system and in order to create more movement in the body to increase mobility or flexibility it's so connected to our nervous system our nervous system needs to feel safe so that we can do that so that's why connecting to your breath taking nice deep breaths is such a big part of this practice One more breath here. Start to walk the hands back in, lifting the chest. Unravel the legs. And this time we're going to come on over into all fours. So finding your tabletop all fours position on your mat. From here, we're ground into the left hand, reach the right fingertips up, follow with your gaze. With your left hand, really think about pressing the ground away with that hand, lifting through the shoulder. Exhale, right hand comes down. Inhale, left fingertips reach up, follow with the gaze. 
exhale, bring the left hand back down to the mat. Bring your right leg out behind, tuck under the toes, find a little stretch into the back of that right leg. Maybe taking a bit of a rock back and forth here. You can see how it feels to press down through the heel and then come forwards and backwards. And then switch over, take the left leg out behind, tuck the toes under, start to take that gentle rock back and forth perhaps, or maybe you're in stillness either way. And bringing the left leg in, tuck the toes under, and as you exhale, lift your hips to the sky, find a downward facing dog. Pressing the hands, pressing the mat away with your hands, lifting the hips. Maybe you want to take a couple of pedal outs through the legs. Any juicy movements that feel good in your downward facing dog. See if you can relax the head. Maybe give the head a little shake and a nod, just ironing out any tension. And from here, start to walk your hands in towards the feet until you come into a forward fold position. Soften into the legs as much as you need to. Just hanging down in your forward fold. Take a gentle rock from side to side. Really relax and release the head. Walk your hands back out to your downward facing dog. Start to walk the feet in towards the hands. This time, find another fold here. Taking a bit of gentle movement, maybe a rock or a sway from side to side. Now walk the feet back to me in your downward facing dog. I'm going to inhale, sweep the right leg up, find a three leg dog. Does not matter how high that leg lifts, it could be just hovering away from the mat. And as you look between the hands, step your right foot through between the hands or in that direction. Reach the fingertips up, lifting up and out from the waist, finding a high lunge. And then we're gonna open the arms out to the side as we bring the left heel down to the mat, find a warrior two. So bending into that right leg, relax the shoulders, flip the right palm up to face the ceiling. Inhale, lift up and out from the waist, find your reverse warrior. So right fingertips reach up, left hand just rests on that left thigh. Float back to your warrior two. And then lengthen into the legs and we're gonna point the toes forwards. Floating our Prasarita Padatanasana, inhale, sweep your fingertips up. And on the exhale, you could have the palms facing down. Imagine pressing energy down as you fold forwards. Try and keep the spine long as you come down. You can soften into the legs a little bit here. if That feels better in your body. So inhale, lift the chest, sweep the arms up. And exhale, press back down. Doesn't matter how far down you come. Make this movement something that works for you. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, floating back down. And the last one, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, float back down. Start to hang out somewhere in your fold. Hands can always come to blocks here. Maybe you're walking the hands through between the feet or the legs, bring a little bit of weight into the balls of the feet, and then on your next inhale, hands come to the hips, lift the chest, try and keep the spine long as you come up. We're then going to point this right toes out to the right side, again you could grab your block now, bending into this right leg, hands going to come to a block or the mat. So you could be starting here, and then maybe that left leg starts to lift, finding Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon pose. So again, just come in and out of the pose as much as you need to, breathe, in, breathe into any little wobbles and shakes. Well done, you're doing great. 
and float both hands back down to the mat. We're going to meet back in a plank position and come through your version of Chaturanga. So you can either drop the knees and come into a cobra or you can lift into an upward facing dog. And then exhale back to your downward facing dog. Option to take a child's pose here. That's what you're feeling for, or you're taking a couple of breaths in your downward dog. On your next inhale, sweep the left leg up. Find your version of three leg dog. Start to look between your hands, step the left foot through in that direction. Reach the fingertips up to find a high lunge. Open the arms out to the side, find warrior two. So left leg's bent, right leg's lengthened. Flip the left palm up to face the ceiling. Inhale, lift up and out from the waist. Find your reverse warrior. Exhale, float back to warrior two. And then lengthen into the legs. Find your wide leg position, toes pointing forwards for Prasarita. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up and then exhale, melt down. Imagine pressing energy down with the hands, lifting the heart, reaching the arms up and floating forwards. Last one, inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, grounding back down, holding in your fold. Wherever you need to be in that fold, there's no choice or option that's better than another. It's just about listening to your body, what it communicates with you. And on your next inhale, start to lift the chest, hands can come back into the hips, come away from your fold and pivot the left foot so that it's pointing towards the top of your mat. You can soften into that left leg. Left hand can come to a block or the ground. And you could either come to this position and be working here, right fingertips reaching up, or seeing if you can start to lift that right leg away from the mat, find Ardha Chandrasana. So thinking about this right hip opening up towards the ceiling. Maybe the gaze comes in that direction as well changes the balance when you change the gaze, your drishti, it's noticing, observing. And then starting to float back to your plank position, well done. Inhale, come through into an upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, back to a downward facing dog. Reconnect with your breath in your downward facing dog. And then looking between the hands, drop your knees down to your mat. I'm going to reach this right leg out to the side. And then if you've got space to, so I'm going to pivot around on my mat, so just move around however you need to. So right legs out to the side. I'm going to see if you can walk your hands over to the left and this left hand could either come to a block or it could come to your mat. Right fingertips reach up so we're in this modified Vashistasana position. So right fingertips could be reaching the sky or the arm could be coming by the right ear. Breathing here. Maybe that right leg starts to lift almost like a modified half moon pose. Bring the right leg back down. See if you can walk the hands back out so you're in your all fours position with the leg out to the side and we'll switch it over so bring the right leg in. Let the left leg come out to the side. Right hand comes around to the right side, comes to a block or the mat and left fingertips sweep up. So again, maybe finding this juicy stretch here. Arm could be by the ear, it could be reaching upwards. See what feels right for you. Maybe 
that left leg lifts away from the ground as a more active version. Bringing that foot back down and walk back to all fours. Bring the left leg in. So we're going to go once more on each side, taking the version that works for you. So bring your right foot out to the side, lengthening that leg. If it has a bend still in it, that's okay. You can work there. And then the left hand's going to come to the mat or using that block for support wherever you need to. Okay. So meeting here, see how it feels to lift the right leg. And just an option, maybe that right leg bends and the right hand can catch the right foot or the ankle. And you could press the foot into the hand, the hand back into the foot and see how it feels to press the hips forward. So we're getting a stretch into the front of the body and the hip flexor. Breathing here. See if you can come out with control, release the leg. Bring it back down. Walk your way back to all fours and bring the right leg in and then we'll take it back to the other side so left leg comes out right hand comes over to right side finding that stretch to begin with maybe the left foot lifts maybe the left leg bends and the left hand catches that left foot and you can press the hips forwards breathing here finding a bit of a Hip flexor stretch. Stay with your breath. Try and relax the face, see if you can crack a smile maybe. <laughs> and see if you can come out as you came in with control. Working your way back to all fours, well done. Exhale, sit your hips down towards your heels, melt into a child's pose. Forehead's coming to the mat or a block. Letting your whole body rest heavy on the ground. Allowing your muscles, your bones, your joints, everything to soften here now. Resting, restoring. Imagine on each breath that you're absorbing the breath in through the pores in your skin into every single muscle and bone and joint and cell, uh, connective tissue, everything that's there. And as you breathe out, just emptying that breath out as fully as you can without forcing. Imagine emptying out anything that's no longer needed. Seeing if you can allow the body to become even a tiny bit heavier on the ground. On your next inhale, just beginning to open the eyes back up if you had them closed or if you have longer, please do stay down in the child's pose or take a shavasana. Way back to a seated position. And then bringing one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. It's another way to give yourself this sense of big hug or embracing yourself, connecting to yourself, your body. Notice if you can feel your body moving with your breath. Notice the connection between your hands and these parts of your body. Maybe it feels warm, maybe you can feel some energy. Just notice whatever you notice. Trusting that you're exactly where you're meant to be right now.
Combing the eyes up when you're ready. Coming back into your space. You can release the hands. And open the eyes. Thank you so, so much for joining me for that short all levels creative flow. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and please do comment and feedback to me on how you've got on. I do offer a monthly membership that you can check out in the links below um, where I have more variety of practices. I have longer juicy one hour practices on there and 45 minute practices on there as well. Um, as some meditation videos and breath work um, and also opportunity for some live classes. So do check that out if you're interested. Um, but you can always subscribe to this channel, it's completely free. Um, and I really appreciate you being here, sharing this beautiful practice with me, embracing the wobbles and the creativity and all of it. So thank you and can't wait to see you again.